And speaking of uh, speaking of architecture a little bit, what what would you define as a successful job in AI regarding architecture? What kind of jobs do you do using AI? So, so I would say that the conceptual part of the project, I mostly use AI, which means mm -hmm. I, um, so, so let's say, let's say like this, um, uh, when we go to meet the client and then the client tell us some of the ideas, or maybe he doesn't have any ideas and then he just tell us the RFP, the requirements for the project, mm -hmm. right? So we go back to the studio. It doesn't matter if we work for ourselves or we work some, for someone else. It doesn't matter. It's always the process is similar, very similar. Uh, and then it also doesn't matter which position you are, because if you are not going on a meeting, somebody else went on a meeting and then come back and then give you the, the feedback from the meeting. Um, so then it takes us like one to two weeks or, or three weeks. It depends on the size of the project and the kind of project, right? Uh, but it create it like takes us two to three weeks to create some sort of a concept like the story, some reference images, layouts, uh, mood boards, and then go to the client. Uh, of course, we need to have different several like several different ideas, right? Mm -hmm. And then go to the client, present our ideas, defend our ideas, and then see if they like or not. Okay, let's say that they don't like, like we didn't get from the first meeting what they wanted, right? So, so this means that we need to go back. Okay. We discuss again on a meeting, what do they like? What would they like? What, uh, what kind of, I don't know, what kind of requirements additional, uh, etc. We go back to the studio, right? And, and we need another one to two to three weeks, right? Let's say one to three weeks to create another idea to present again to the, that same client. So let's say that second time when we went on a meeting and present and defend our idea, they like, right? So it took us, it took us, um, like three to six weeks to create the first part of the project, which is only concept part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why it taking so long? Because we do everything manually. Like we design, we, we design layout by our hands and like sketches and then putting it in, into the CAD, right? And then from CAD, we are taking those layouts and then put, it, put them in 3D software. Then we do materials. Then we do like some sort of model. Then we do rendering after that, right? And then after rendering, we have post-production, we have Photoshop uh, edits. And then that's it. And then like we create, we need to create the idea, right? The idea is also again from sketch to some sort of a story and stuff like that, right? For all of this, we need to do it by ourselves, like manual. It's nothing is automatic. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with AI, you actually have less steps to create some sort of basic ideas because you can just ask AI or, or like set the command that you would like, and then it can give you a feedback. For example, in my recent projects for shopping mall, I created the whole story for the shopping mall interior, totally on a, uh, using ChatGPT and Mid Journey. Like the whole concept story, the sketches, the, 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 like how to present everything was created by ChatGPT and Mid Journey. Uh, because like, I just wanted to try to use it in that mm -hmm. way, in that sense, and then it worked. So why, why not? And then, and then, so from the traditional approach to the advanced using AI approach, we, we reduced our time from three to six weeks to actually one to two weeks, because using AI, we can create renderings immediately. We can create, um, stories immediately. So it doesn't take us, it wouldn't take us, uh, one to three weeks. It would take us like one, one week at least like. Mm -hmm. maximum one week to create several different stories. And then if the client does like, we go back additional one week and then that's it. Two weeks done. I mean, if we are not lucky, if we are lucky, we can get it in one week. Um, again, I'm saying it depends on the size of the project because sometimes yes, layouts yes. requires more time, but I'm just like 
doing this like roughly. Um, but anyway, this is this is this is how I use it. And then many people would like on my during my presentations when I when I when I was in back in my country uh, last month, I did several like uh, of this kind of uh, like speak engagements, mm -hmm. and and some of the people. Uh, at the end, I was always uh, give give space for for uh, questions, and then some of the people would argue with me. We lost the essence of the of the um, like architects and designers, and then my argument for that is that that some projects we cannot we cannot be creative, like we cannot. We cannot let our creativity lead us because that project requires fast and efficient work. Mm -hmm. And when you need to be fast and efficient, you cannot be creative. I mean, maybe you can in some, sometimes, but not always. And then yeah. AI helps us to be always like in track, you know, like to keep up with the with the um, uh, others. ¿Qué está pasando mi gente? Si les gustó este video pueden ver la entrevista completa aquí y no olviden suscribirse.